a lot has changed ever since I actually joined my job. It's nothing like high school. It's nothing like normal life as you see. You literally go there, dedicate your time, and then come to a paycheck. But then there is, comes a time to where you need to think for yourself, what do you want to do for the rest of your life? Do you want to rot in one place? Or do you want to strive in one place? 2021 has been filled with one of the most interesting changes, I believe, in my entire life. And this has nothing to do with the pandemic and it has nothing to do with other things that just came around in this life. It's more in a matter of life life was actually teaching me something. I remember the beginning of this year and I was just basically almost like lost in a way. I was stuck at a nine to five job, not having any time to even like stream or do YouTube whatsoever. And being basically in a relationship that thought made me happy, but in reality, it truly didn't. To now I'm in a position to where like, I now have a lot more free time in my hands. I've been consistently streaming for the past couple of months and we've been getting lots of new viewers in fact there's a lot of you new people here that just recently have found me either from other streamers or just you just found me just just when you're just exploring around twitch and it taught me a lot of things that like i should have known back in other parts of the years that i've been doing content creation for the past couple of years i've been trying to figure out how to actually grow and actually figure out how to get this channel basically to the next level and one of my problems i truly have believed and i'm going to admit this to you guys because of the fact that i really do appreciate every single one of you that do watch my videos and do care about what type of person i am is that i try to compete with other youtubers i basically would study all the times that i would try to not be like certain types of youtubers or like don't try to be this type of person and never really truly focused on the actual content and actually trying to create a youtube channel I did a lot of thinking and going against instead of just actually doing it. And for a lot of people that don't really know who I am, I'm gonna give you guys a brief history of basically what my channel is. Back in 2014, I started uploading on January the 3rd, 2014 with Call of Duty Ghost videos, promising just this funny thing that I promised GTA videos and now I don't even enjoy GTA 5 anymore. I basically was known as an up and coming Call of Duty channel, which basically was in the sniping community where people are literally either just hitting clips and making montages, but on the other side of that was actually quite toxic. So I basically learned how to be basically competitive with other channels. Basically, I was used to be surrounded by people who just want to better themselves as a YouTuber, when in actuality, they're not even creating content anymore. In 2015, I joined an organization, which I'm not going to label in here, but if you want to do your research yourself, you're more than welcome to do so. But basically, long story short, they try to lead a lot of the people that are in that team. This idea of like, this team is going to be big, this team is going to do great things. Nothing truly happened about that. And it led to a lot of toxicity in that channel because I remember one of the members, and I don't know who did this to this day, actually put some derogatory things on my thumbnail when I did a collab for that channel. And it led to a lot of those creators actually telling me that like, I had no passion into making YouTube videos. Apparently I wasn't trying my best all the time. I was always getting judged by when I used to make videos that like people don't really truly think that I could make it in this, in this world. So in 2016, I just only focused on graduating high school and basically trying to find a job. Didn't really, have any sort of direction or anything that would make me want to continue on YouTube. So in this sort of area, Call of Duty was dying. Not a lot of people were playing Call of Duty as much because Call of Duty was trying to go with this weird path of like boots, not on the ground, jetpacks everywhere. People weren't really enjoying that and I wasn't really enjoying that either. So I had to figure out what am I going to do for the channel? And that's when I started going the indie games route and a lot of people were questioning me, why was I playing these games? In fact, these games are not even fun to watch. Why are you even playing this? And in my mind, I was trying to be someone else. But in 2017, I actually got my start of my brand new fan base with Injustice 2. That was a game that I full on enjoyed a lot and a lot of you guys also came to as well because now I had my community of DC and Marvel comic people. And I did all these release parties, I did a lot of King of the Hills, I did a lot of things that a lot of you guys do seem to enjoy. 
So when the game died, I was pretty much in a stuck situation again. And I can remember those streams very vividly because there was a lot of those streams I had to end abruptly because I was still working at my 9 to 5 job because I had to wake up at 8 in the morning to get to work at 9. And at the time, I had about 100 viewers just consistently watching me as I was playing Red Hood, which was, at the time, the newest character of that game. So in 2018, I was still trying to figure out everything, what I was going to do with content creation, what videos I should make. And you probably might be wondering, I haven't been mentioning Twitch as much. I did start Twitch in 2014. However, I didn't really use Twitch as much as some sort of way to actually bring viewers in and to actually entertain people. Because at the time, I originally hated Twitch. I did become a Twitch affiliate back in 2017, which was the start of all the people not going for partner anymore. They were just going for affiliate and then leading up to the partner program. But I simply just did not feel like I was part of Twitch because of the fact that not a lot of people were on my Twitch. Most of my people are from YouTube and now it's vice versa the other way around. Every time I stream on YouTube, now no one shows up to my YouTube stream. But I was still a YouTube streamer. So when Mortal Kombat 11 came out in 2019, people were all in my Mortal Kombat streams making one of my best streams of all time, which was the Spawn release trailer. And that was my first glance of having 1,000 people just sitting in one of my streams, just waiting for a trailer, and I was actually able to hype up the stream. And I got it twice, one from a popular Mortal Kombat streamer, and then the other organically. And then we move on to 2020. What's next for Cabal? What's next for him to upload? What is your biggest game move? Because when I mentioned 2020, for some people, they say it's one of the worst years for everybody. Because this was the year when the pandemic started. And I sadly used to work at Kroger. I was one of the supervisors that actually had to deal with all the crazy customers that were literally taking everything off the shelves. All the toilet paper, all the canned foods, all other types of foods. Like people were preparing for a massive apocalypse. And I would always keep telling myself, I should have left my job in 2020. Cause now we have such a huge rise of YouTubers that I would like to call pandemic YouTubers that came from 2020 and have now officially blown up in 2020. So here we are with Cabal in December of 2020. I had a relationship, I was still working at my job and I wasn't really uploading. And that was the time where I decided, you know what? I just need to focus on my YouTube channel Let's not stream on Twitch. And that was when I made the announcement that I wasn't going to stream on Twitch. And I think a lot of you guys have actually remembered that video. However, it was long set enough. Because eventually, I decided to return to Twitch all because of YouTube's craziest copyright system. Now, that's not to say that Twitch also has a massive copyright system in hand, but it's not as dangerous as what YouTube is. When you're playing something that has a lot of copyrights, in that particular video or song, your stream will be officially taken down. And that's one of the major reasons why I actually went back to Twitch in 2021. But this is basically what happened in 2021. Stuff happened in the beginning of this year. I decided to start DoorDash and I've officially left my job. And now I'm making streams and maybe YouTube videos. During my couple few years of actually working at Kroger, I never actually got to sit down, relax, actually do something. It was just morning, I wake up, I make a TikTok, make YouTube videos, maybe plan out a stream, go to work. I had that full blown system in my head that like, I have to keep on working in order for me to be successful. But at this rate of time, when I was actually working at Kroger, I was working much more harder, but not working much more smarter. I would go on again how I'm like not uploading as consistent as I can, but like at the end of the day, I just now want to make YouTube videos on my own time. I want to officially bring in videos on my own time. That way, maybe I could get that huge spark again to start YouTube videos. Cause quite frankly, I'm just having fun with streaming right now. And we've been having a lot of fun on streaming. If you haven't followed my Twitch, Links down in the description below, but we've been literally been reacting to a bunch of things. We've been playing campaigns. We've been playing multiplayer. We've been even doing this new thing for all my music fans out there. It's all called song competitions. 
and I've been doing a lot more because now I officially run a Discord with a music artist. You guys might know, I talk about him a lot of time. His name is Jaleel. We're friends on Instagram and he wanted me to be his moderator in his Discord server. And by me, I mean, I literally asked him and he, he agreed. That, that's literally what, what we agreed on. And a lot of you guys are not used to me speaking in this camera. Some of you are used to speaking to me in this camera, but the true camera that a lot of you guys are used to me with it's actually, actually that camera right there. You guys didn't know I had like a bunch of cameras everywhere. Did you know I had a bunch of cameras here? Yes. That's how you know I'm a full blown YouTuber. GoPro right here, phone right here, webcam right down over here. And I just wanna say before we actually do leave, if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button because we can't see dislikes at this point in time. If you're seriously ready for 2022, I'm going to try my best. I'm not going to say I'm going to go full blown hard. I'm just simply just going to try my best because we don't know what the what the year holds and I'm definitely very humbled to be in this position I'm in today with you guys always watching my Twitch streams, with you guys always enjoying whenever I upload a video. I just simply just need to have fun again. But I do want to see what this future holds and I really do hope 2022 does become one of my best years that I've ever have done in terms of content creation. Not being a YouTuber, not being a Twitch streamer, not being a TikToker, not being an Instagram influencer as a content creator. Cheers to everyone that has been enjoying me with throughout my eight years of doing everything. Cabal out.